all right guys so this deer aren't cooperating for me right now um, i'm gonna kind of show you my tree setup uh, that i've been using all week up here at triple o it's been a great week uh, i think they shot a 138 a 145 and a 171 i mean you can't ask for much better than that from a place uh, on opening weekend of bow season so great deer we're taking uh, tried to show you some of that if i haven't already you'll be seeing some of that here in a few minutes everybody hangs out in this little kitchen area which I'll show you that as well but uh, another bedding area here a lot of bunks what's up brother sorry another one here so and they have some more he actually has another place on over and uh, I think some more bedding area in another spot as well which I'll show you if I can but uh, but anyway that's that this is where I was staying last year we actually stayed in this bed here and my two buddies Jeff and Jeff stayed right over here and uh, they're not gonna be here this year but uh, hopefully we'll make some new friends and uh, meet some new people which I'm sure we will so Friday is burger day Check it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fix me some food. Alright. Well, I'm gonna be over here across the road. My buddy Jeff right here is gonna be right down here in this food plot, very close to where I killed that one last year. So you excited? Yeah man, I'm ready to go. Have fun. Have Good fun man. out there today. Yeah, man. Alright. We're gonna ease in. So see y'all in a bit. It's gonna be a tough week. I have a feeling. I feel like I'm uh, in an episode of Walking Dead or something. I mean, <laughs> it's like an old grown up road. Human life is nowhere to be seen. I haven't seen a human in years. Vegetation. It's taken over. I'm the sole survivor. Going to get me some supper. I'll take one out. That way the family can eat. If I'm the sole survivor of me and my family. Ooh. -da -da. Just had a coyote come in my right. Nice eight over here. Let's go check it out. Right. Like hey, bro. What you got? We got a, uh, I believe a three and a half year old eight point. Ooh. Yeah. Check out the shot. Nice. Nice film, bro. Shooting. What, what the front is? Another good one down here, triple O. So. Anyway, it turned out to be a good opening weekend for everybody. Uh, we've got, uh, that's the fourth deer down in a week, so not bad. All right, we're back at the hangar and I see a mammoth up in here. Whoo! Look at that guy. Man. That one's legit there. It's a big one. Did you shoot that brain? No, I wish. <laughs> Woo-wee! That's a good one right there, boys. How about that? 
He's much bigger than the one I saw. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. That's good good deal. Yeah, We're going to catch deal. up with Michael in just a minute. What you got there, bro? Did you kill this giant? Yeah. Yeah. So hunting a one, two acre little cornfield. Um, munching on some soybeans. I was sitting on a uh, walk on about four feet off the ground. Smoked him right there. Oh, man. He, he went about two yards. Woo! Boom, boom. Y'all let me know below if you think that's a true story. <laughs> uh, on another note, he did shoot a, what, 138? Yes, sir. 138. And uh, I'll try to show some of that footage as well and uh, kind of mix these in. So. One more, Hannah. All right, cool. I think we got some good ones. All right, well, thanks, Stuart, for the uh, camera work. What, what we got here, man? We got a big old triple O bruiser Boone and Crockett deer. Ooh, what'd he score? 171 and an Woo! eighth. 171 and an eighth. This is the uh, <sighs> second buck Craig's been with me. We shot one back in Kentucky yeah. a few years back. Had a nice drop time, a little jealous of that one. Yeah. I wasn't actually hunting though, but uh, still. Now he's got another one. This time I was hunting, so, you know. Little, little jealous. No, but I'm uh, super, super excited for him. So that's awesome. Good deal. Thanks for the photos, buddy. Yeah, man. Hopefully we got something. <laughs> well, good deal. Awesome, dude. Well, Stuart, where's yours at? In the freezer. Go get it. <laughs> we'll figure out something with that cake. We'll do something with it. <laughs> Here he is. What do you score? One thirty-eight and seven eighths. Nice. Good deal, good deal. We're gonna try to get the little video from Stuart's dad and uh, hopefully we can put that in here as well. And 23 yards. Yeah, you can take it. You can take it. You better shoot. Breathe deep. Hang right by the shoulder. There's another. Yeah. We can see that, but we got two two bruisers right here. There was another one killed. Hey, what that other guy's uh, deer scored? You know, do you have a scored? Probably in the 140. So, getting a pretty good opening weekend. So here's the blow. What's that? That's a wrap for today. We're about to head into uh, town. We're going to go to Triple O Outdoors. We're going to walk around, check it out. I think Jeff may be getting him a new Garmin scope, but uh, get a game plan and uh, keep grinding. We'll be back uh, this afternoon somewhere, so we'll see y'all then. Hi, guys. We're here at Triple O Outdoors, which is associated with Triple O Outfitters, obviously. This is uh, the outdoor shop, so if you're in the area, make sure you come check them out. We're going to go in here, look around, See what Blake's doing. See if we can catch him working. And uh, let's go. Yeah. And, what you uh, doing, bro? What up? <laughs> I like the store, man. It's nice. Is this first time you've been here? I came earlier. Oh, I came like uh, oh yeah, real early. A few days ago, but uh, you were too busy working, so I didn't see you. I'm always. <laughs> you catch. You, you catch the goat, bro. So. Yeah, man. Okay. We'll show you some hats over there. We've got. I actually got some more in the truck out there if you really need any. He said we were riding. Jeff's needing to get hooked up with something, I think. Let's go over and check out the hats. I'll show you guys the store. Whoa, look at that. We got the, we got the foam. We got the uh, curve bill. Black back. Black. I don't have many of these left. Black bill there. And then, of course, the uh, hat bill there. So. Awesome. All those are for sale. If you uh, come up here to Indiana, you can come in here and grab you one, or you can go to uh, my Instagram. I'll put that link right down here below, and you can pick one up in the Instagram store. Uh, shoot me a DM if you want to as well, but um, pick that up, and I'll send it out to you. So, anyway, 
pretty sweet shop. If you're up here in uh, Madison, Indiana, come check it out. super awesome place we uh picked up a few little goodies and uh heading back right now jeff picked up the garmin scope for his uh raven i'm gonna go sight that in and uh hit the stand this afternoon so let's go hunt let me kind of show you uh my setup up here in the tree so currently i'm running the dji osmos which you look see right here and i have a um, mic up on top of it um as well as a wireless setup over here on the side that I've been trying out on this trip right here. So I've got wireless lab right here, wireless setup, and um, so whenever I'm up in the tree, I don't have to get right up next to the uh, camera to talk. I can I can just talk normal from a distance, and I'll be able to hear. So I've got that uh, over here is my tree arm. So um, can I show you that? So that is the uh, fourth arrow talon system. Um, I've got two arms for it. I've got this one is the stiff arm, and I also have the um, the smaller three piece as well. So if I'm in a tree that's got like two different, um, like two trees, so I've got this tree, maybe another tree right here beside. I'll use the smaller arm, or if you're hunting out a saddle or something like that, you could use the smaller arm as well. So um, it doesn't. The good thing about the big arm is when you stretch it out deer comes say over here on this side you can still pull it around you and get the uh get the deer on camera so um i also have um past few hunts i've been running this camera right here which is the uh, insta 360 and it's just kind of capturing another angle um, i don't always run as many cameras but the past few hunts i've been i've been running I was just one, two, three, and I've got another camera on my bow. I've been running almost four cameras up here in the tree. So, um, and this one is, um, it's a scope cam too. You could use like a um, Tacticam, something like that. You could put on your bow right up here. Uh, you've, I've also ran like um, these GoPro action cameras, you know, like the Osmo or the 360 or anything like that. You could try that as well, but um, and I also have my external battery that I've showed you before hanging in the tree and it actually powers this camera and it's powering that camera up there and they're running loop mode so they're always recording so if a deer comes out I don't have to worry about hitting record on all these different cameras I can just concentrate on the bigger camera and ranging the deer and shooting the deer so but I think that's about it. And just want to kind of give you guys a little rundown on that. Um, one more thing I'll show you. What I've been doing, they already have bow hangers up in these trees. So if you're hunting at a place that's already got a bow hanger up or you can bring two of them in. I've been hanging like this camera right here, way out here on this bow hanger. So it's kind of capturing this shot, kind of looking down at me, uh, which I think would be pretty neat. And of course, here's my other bow hanger. So, all right, well, we're going to get out of here. I've got uh, one more hunt this afternoon. Maybe we can make it happen this afternoon. I think I'm going to head home tomorrow. Um, we're uh, putting an offer on the house. So I got a lot to do um, loan wise and everything else. So, hopefully, I'll be able to show you guys that in the future also. So, all right, well, see you in a bit. Man, what an awesome trip up at Triple O Outfitters. Blake, man, thank you for having me again. Didn't get it done this time, but 
hopefully we'll be back later in the year and we'll be able to show you a lot of footage that we shot uh, that I wasn't able to put in this little video clip right here highlight. But I wanted to show you guys big deer were killed in early season archery up at Triple O. We killed a 171, a 145. Stewart shot that 138. You got to see some awesome footage that his dad shot with his cell phone. And then, of course, Brent shot what we thought was probably a three and a half at first, but now we're thinking he's much older than that. They're going to send his jaw off, get that looked at as well. I'll try to update you guys in the community tab if I find out how old that deer was, but we're pretty sure that he was an old monarch uh, eight point. So super dark horn, super awesome. But had a great time up here. Got to see some uh, old friends. Got to room with my buddy Jeff again. Man, it was a blast. And uh, got to meet got to meet a lot of new people so it's always fun going to deer camp it's always a good time but make sure y'all you guys hit that like and subscribe button right down here below that helps me out and uh i highly appreciate it go to uh, my instagram pick you up a hat in the store thegoatrope.com or contact triple o outdoors and they have a lot of these hats in stock and they'll be glad to mail you one hey y'all have a good one thanks for watching get outside